welcome to part 60 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the home page one by one. We are going to make everything dynamic in our home page. So, in this video, we are going to make the best seller products dynamic. We are going to show those products uh, from the admin panel and in the random order. Okay, so I'm going to show you this is our home page. And in last video, we able to show the new rival products. Last eight products we able to show that the vendor or admin added. Okay, so these are the products you can see. And the next one is the best sellers. Okay, you can see there are tabs, new rivals, best sellers, discounted products, and featured products. New rivals we have done, and now we are going to do the best sellers in this video. Though after the order placement, when we will complete the e-shop process then we are going to check the orders and uh, we are going to check that which product is the best seller actually which product is having the maximum orders and we are going to show the products uh, dynamically which are uh, ordered by the user at the maximum rate okay so but right now we don't have that order placement process is still pending we are going to work on one by one thing okay right now we are working on the home page after that we will reach the listing page detail card checkout order placement okay so at that time we are going to show the best seller products from the order placement itself okay it depends on which product uh, is ordered for how many times but right now we are going to show them from the admin panel itself okay so we are going to make the option in admin panel I'm going to show in the product uh, we are going to show the option uh, see I'm going to uh, here in the products module and here in the edit and see in add edit product form here is the featured item and after that we are going to add best seller okay best seller item okay so if the admin or vendor check this one see this feature we are going to do uh, going to give to the admin okay because uh, we don't want that every vendor wants to show their products at the home page but it is uh, not possible okay but uh, as far as the admin is concerned we will left this feature to do the admin so the admin can uh, make any product uh, to show any product at the home page as the best seller product okay right now this uh, we are going to do right now but later on we are going to make this thing dynamic from uh, some other code okay after the order placement process so uh, now we are going to add the uh, here best seller item and for this we are going to modify the products table and here you can see we are already having the featured is underscore feature so in the same way uh, we are going to add uh, see after is underscore feature we are going to add here is underscore best seller okay so we are going to modify the products table and we are going to run the migration command to update this products table so let's update the products table and uh, so that we can add one column here and that we will call it as the is underscore best seller okay let's straight away start this process so i am going to right click to my project folder new terminal at folder i am going to create one migration file php artisan make migration and i am going to make the file like update products table earlier also we have modified one of the table with migration command and now i am going to open update products table here it is and here we are going to add the schema uh, table so that we can select the particular table that we want to update products table we want to update so we will enter here the products function and then dollar table okay so here uh, we are going to add the column that we want to add to our current table and uh, we want to add the enum data type for the uh, column name and the column name we are going to add that is the is underscore best seller okay and uh, with the values uh, values we are going to set as no or yes okay 
so it will pick uh, the no value by default and we are going to add this after which column after is featured column okay is underscore featured column after is featured column we are going to add this column okay so here also uh, we are going to add uh, this one we are going to repeat uh, this function once again here also so that we can uh, use the rollback command when required we can drop this column okay if in case uh, we want to undo the changes then in one step we can make it okay so is bestseller this one we have done so now we are going to run the php artisan migrate command to add this column php artisan migrate so let's see the structure once again and we are going to see our uh, is underscore bestseller has been created okay so value must be no for all we are going to check c it is the no for all okay so now we are going to add uh, this one bestseller item here in our add edit product form so i'm going to open this one add edit product and here i'm going to copy this one is a featured item and here i'm going to add bestseller item whether it this uh, product is bestseller or not okay so we are going to add this one is bestseller okay so now uh, see its value is yes and we are going to modify now the press controller so its value can be yes or no based on uh, see if the uh, admin or vendor if the admin is going to check this one uh, see I am going to uh, go here see here it is okay so if the admin is going to check this one so it means that we are going to add the value as yes otherwise we will add the values as no if it is unchecked okay it is working in the same way like is featured okay so nothing much to worry about so here we are going to add in the same way like we have added the is featured if it is coming we are going to check its value is coming as yes or no is underscore better and the same value we are going to save in our table okay if in case no value is coming then we will set it as no value okay so this is the thing and uh, so we can try it once like i am going to make it this product best seller item and i'm going to check it once again and you can see now it has been checked okay so like in the, this way we can also uh, do for the other products as well like uh, this one best seller item we can just simply do like this admin can just simply do like this to show these products at the front end okay so we can make this uh, option active to show them at the front end okay so now the only thing that we are required to do is to show this product as the best seller at the home page so for that we are going to modify the index controller and here uh, like we have done for the new products now we are going to uh, she add the query for the bestseller product as well so after this one dollar bestsellers like we have done three four products as bestseller so we are going to uh, fetch those products so here we are going to add the where query in which we will see we will only pick those products whose uh, is bestseller equal to yes and status is must be one only we are go not going to show the inactive products and here we will use the get and to array see we also want to use the random we are going to show the random products okay so but first of all we are going to debug this one that all the bestsellers products are coming here or not and here you can see 
four products we have made bestseller and its information is coming fine okay so now uh, we will also add the random but first of all we are going to uh, show this one at the front end without any limits okay so here we are going to add best sellers and best seller we are going to show at the home page i'm going to open the blade file here it is and i'm going to show in the same way like we have shown the new products okay so here uh we need to show we need to check where we are required to show there are four tab panes here you can see four tabs are here and one of the tab is already filled and the another one is here for the uh, selling products for the best seller products okay so this for each loop we are going to copy this for each loop as you can see uh, the products tabs are similar okay there is no difference in this tab same thing we have used so only difference is with the for each loop the array that is coming in the for each loop okay so we can use the same array and just uh, the difference is that we are using the new products now we are going to use the best sellers array okay earlier we are using the new products array okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to just simply copy this one the class product slider and we'll open the next pane and here i am going to replace it with this one okay so i'm going to make changes and this one i'm going to pick this best sellers area i'm going to pick and we'll replace it uh, with the uh, with the uh, new products okay so uh, here it is i'm going to replace it with the best sellers okay best sellers area new products i'm going to replace with the best sellers okay now i'm going to check this one refresh it and we'll see the best sellers tab and you can see the best sellers products have come up without the scroll here because the only four products are there in the best seller that's why it is not coming okay you can see the no scroll is coming here uh, no arrows are coming here to, uh, to uh, move uh, it okay so one more product i'm going to show it as the best seller that we have left so far uh, we are going to check that which product is left for the best seller okay uh, this one maybe this one and no not this one so one of the product is uh, not having the best seller this one is also the best seller product and the last one this one we are going to check this one is not the best seller we are going to make this best seller as well now all the products are best seller see we are going to check once again and here you can see the arrows are now coming okay we can move it okay now we are moving this best seller sorry not this one this one so arrows are coming here as well for the best sellers all these products are the best sellers okay now we want to show them in the random order okay so for showing them in the random order i am going to search in laravel that show random order laravel okay there is one predefined function to show them uh, so i think in random order is the correct key so here it is in random order so we are going to try this one in random order and we can try this one before get and here uh, we can add this one in random order that is predefined function of laravel to show the product in random order so i'm going to refresh it and we'll see every time there must be new products here you can see the layout here green comes at the first place green then red okay so i'm going to refresh once again and see next time the next time there is no green product at the front next time there is the red product so we are showing the products now in the random order okay in the best sellers so suppose if some of the products added by the vendor as the best seller if some of the products added by the admin as the best seller then uh, it is uh see uh, it will show the products in random order so uh so it is not like that uh, there is no the partiality kind of thing is not there so admin will not do anything everything the query will do and uh, and if the vendor is lucky then his product can come at the home page as well okay so we are showing at the random uh, way so any product can come at the home page we can't set like uh, we can't show that some particular product at the home page any product can come at the random uh, randomly at the home page so this is the uh, meaning of uh, in random order okay 
so uh, now see we are showing now the best seller products at the home page as well in the random order so both new levels is coming and best sellers are coming here okay and best seller later on we are going to show from the real orders that the product that is having the maximum sale uh, we are going to show in the best seller but that we are going to do we are going to replace later on in the series okay so in next video we are going to work on discounter products and the featured products okay so i hope that everything is clear to you but if you have any query you can surely contact me and do join the channel to get the complete code and support okay you will get this complete website and you will get the complete code and complete support along with that many other features once again i'm going to tell you that you can open this website anytime sidemakers.in okay and here you can see you will get so much data so many websites okay everything is given here that see how much code download multi vendor e-commerce download multi vendor e-commerce advanced e-commerce you will get basic e-commerce you will get the dating website you will get the sms scripts okay so many things many websites three four websites you will get okay so you can anytime join as the premium member okay here see you can see login you just require to login from here uh, to get all this information like benefits of etc you will get the multi vendor e-commerce advanced e-commerce basic e-commerce dating or many other things and you will get the one-to-one -one interaction as well if you will join the uh, join as a member okay so that's all for now and if you have any query you can surely protect me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye